Hi everyone, it's Ray from Euro Football Star. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon in November. We're just down at Mitchelton Football Club. We're here to tell you some exciting news. We're here with the Brisbane Paralympic Football Programme. And we're here with Jay Larkin and the guys who run the programme. We've got some really exciting news about uh, partnership and support of the BPFP programme. And we've got a little bit more information that we're going to share with you in the next couple of videos. So watch this space. Hi everyone, it's Ray from Euro Football Star again. And we're with Jay from the Brisbane Paralympic Football Programme. And also we've got Kenny. Kenny the Kangaroo is going all the way to Qatar to the World Cup next week. Now, one of the reasons we're going to be raising the funds is to try and financially help Jay and just to maybe possibly expand this programme a little bit more. And through Euro Football Star supporting it and giving away a few places on one of our upcoming trips in 2023 and 24, we're hoping to raise in the region of ten dollars to $20,000 or hopefully more. Jay. If we were to raise ten or fifteen or twenty thousand dollars, what would it mean to the program and to yourself? It, it makes it sustainable into the future, and it means that uh, I can still support families. We get a lot of families that have a person within that family that is affected with a disability or a different ability, and they've got three siblings. Well, we're one of the only programs in the country that allow siblings to be involved because we think it encourages the person with a disability to get involved as well. So what I do is the participant pays the registration, which is about $6.50 a session. Um, and then we uh, register the siblings so that the family, a lot of families with disabilities, a lot of them are from the low income areas and they need, they need help. You know, the stigma around the disability sector at the moment is this is good. People think that people with disability or families with disabilities get everything, and they don't. They don't get one of the most valuable things in life, enjoyment and respect. That's what we try to give them here. So they can come along and just figure out this is my place, and I, I can share it with other people that believe in me. Yeah, it's really cool. That's awesome. And in regards to like running costs for a year, what does it cost you to run the program on average? Between 15 and 17 and a half thousand. That's a lot of money, eh? And that and that really spoke in the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> and that and that doesn't include how much time you and the volunteers no, put in as well. That's nothing. Just in nothing. Yeah. No, um I'm still using soccer balls that we've had for five years. Um the equipment that you can see is getting set up now I've had for over ten years. Yeah. Um and because and it all costs money. Yeah. I'm really grateful and I must mention that going into twenty twenty three with the support of the Mitchell Football Club, um, things should perk up. Yeah. But they, they've really come on board. Once we can figure out that they have the resources, um, almost like a step away. My greatest joy would be my son's just been called back into the Australian Paralympic squad. And uh, my greatest wish is as a dad to go and watch him as a father. That's amazing. Um, and hope to give other people involved with this program the same joy. And just talking a little bit about obviously Mitchelton Football Club and their, the fantastic facilities they have today allow you to use the facility. Anything. 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 That's uh, uh, the president, Mr. Gary Green, has just bent over backwards with his committee to make sure that we're uh, welcomed. They've, they've gone through a terrible time in 2022 with the floods and everything. And at no time will we have forgotten. Yeah. You know, the other, if we couldn't train here, they allowed us, to, uh, we were allowed to go down to the Brisbane Sports Centre yep. with James Foley. He looked after us down there. Mm -hmm. But because of the noise and the sensory problems we have with the kids, yeah, is once you start playing music inside, all they want to do is run for their lives. <laughs> so this is the perfect, the perfect environment. Yeah. The families come along and it's like they can have a picnic. Yeah. So it, it's a little bit different than what we would class as a mainstream football team. But I think we've got enough people for about three teams yeah. at the moment. And That's we're surviving nice. with the, the room that Mitchelton are allowing us to do. That's great. That's great. So, guys, a big thank you for tuning in. Again, if you want to find out how you can support or get involved, guys, just look for the links below. Also, visit our socials at Euro Football Star. We'd love any help, any support for Jay and his programme. And also, remember, guys, the best way you can help is purchase a ticket. All the costs are there on the website and on the socials and you'll be in a chance to win a trip of a lifetime but not only that the main important thing 
is actually donating some money towards a worthy cause. Thanks very much, Jay. Cheers. And good luck to Kenny yeah, in the World yeah, Cup. Sure. I look Go the Socceroos. I look forward to seeing Kenny over there and um, thank uh, No Lord very much for taking taking uh, our, our, our Australian figure. I'm sure it'll be well liked. <laughs> Guys, just on that one as well, we will share more information in regards to Kenny and where he's going to be at the World Cup. So keep your eyes on the socials and the website on how you can support Jay and this amazing programme that he's running down at Mitchelton Football Club. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ray. That's great. Young fellas will love these.